Lord said you were that. Now you come to Christ, now you're a new creature. You were that. You were that when you walked according to the prince of the air of this world. Who is the prince of the power of this air, of this world? Who is Satan? It is Satan. So when you was locked into Satan, you didn't know the Most High. The Most High didn't know you. But now, have he quickened you? Hey, yo, now, you have he raised you up to a new, lively creature in him? Read it. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. That, child, that spirit that worketh in the children of disobedience, the children of disobedience are those that go directly against this word. This Bible is big. This Bible is big. You need to check it out. But the spirit of disobedience that, that dwell in the children of disobedience is the spirit of Satan. Because they go directly against the scripture. They say that's the white man Bible. This book condemns the white man if he's wicked. This book condemns the black man if he's wicked. Whosoever is wicked, this book condemns them. Children of disobedience. So you need to get out of that spirit. You need to get the word out your head and get Christ in it. Arm yourself with the same mind as Christ did. Read it. Ephesians 2 and 3. Among whom also we all had our conversations in times past. Right. Like, among whom also we all had our conversations in time past. Conversation, our conduct. How we acted in the earth. How we ran up and down the streets, played the harlot, played the, the, the adulterer, ran the drug game, the thieving, the lying, the wickedness, the drunkenness. All of that. We all been part of that. We ain't claiming no hierarchy over anybody. We all been part of that. We all been part of it. Nobody up here claiming holier than thou. We all trying to work on salvation. We're not running the earth talking about we're saved. Why? Because we're still here. No one's saved until Christ comes in. You turn from mortal to immortal. Corruptible to incorruptible. Then you're saved. Until then, you can all be still taken away. And madness. Read it. Among whom also we all had our conversations in times past. And the lust of our flesh. Uh -huh. Fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. And were by nature the children of wrath. Why? Even as others. Give me Romans 8 and 1. Read that again. Ephesians 2 and 3. Among whom also we all had our conversations in times past. With the lust of our flesh. And the lust of our flesh. Fulfilling the desires of the flesh. Fulfilling the desires of the, of the flesh. Whatever I felt I wanted to do. Whatever I felt, felt that made me feel good, I did it. And that caused, and that, and therefore I was a child of disobedience. A child set fit for the fire. Check it out. Romans 8 and 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ. Uh -huh. Who walk not after the flesh, uh -huh. but after the spirit. So I don't walk according to the flesh no more. Because I don't want to be the child of disobedience. I don't want to be fit for the fire. I want to walk according to the spirit now. According to the spirit. Read it. For the law of the Spirit is of life uh -huh. in Christ uh -huh. hath made me free from the law of sin and death. Read it. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh uh -huh. the most high, sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. Right. So I don't count that thing as, as simple. I don't count Christ's death as simple as, as the, 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 the religion as religion do say. So you can go in and out. You can go back and forth. You get yeah. saved and repent. Go back sin and repent. I don't count that as that thing lightly. I don't count Christ's death lightly like that, man. I don't play with the Lord's sacrifice like that. Christ did a big thing for me. Now that I got knowledge of what he did for me, I turn it around. Sincerely, I do not want to be the children of wrath. I do not want to be a child of wrath. I do not want that fire and bread to sit in my mind. I don't want that. I don't want that for my wife. I don't want that for my children. I don't want that for my brethren. It's about Christ, man. Let's go back. First Peter. First Peter 4 verse 2. For the time past of our life may suffice us uh -huh. to have wrought the will of the Gentiles uh -huh. when we walk the lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatry. Right. So like I said, we've, we, we've been through this chapter. We're all the way down to the 8th verse in this chapter. This is First Peter, the 4th chapter. We're in the 8th verse, and we done covered several different topics because it's going through it. And it's all, talk, all talking about the Spirit, man. Renewing your mind, man. Renewing your mind according to Christ. Get it out of the earth, man. The earth is about to fall. The earth is about to fall. Let me say not the earth, but this world, this kingdom, this rulership is about to fall. The new one that was set up under Christ. And if you don't know Christ now, I'm not saying if you go to church. Hey, uh, everybody and their mom will go to right. church on Sunday or Christmas or Easter or Thanksgiving. I'm talking about if you don't know Christ, if you don't know this book, Genesis to Revelation, if you're not walking according to it in faith, you got a major problem. Our religious leaders lied to us big time. 
Prove it. Isaiah 916, 916, read that real quick. 913, read that real quick. First Peter 4 and 4. Wherein they think it strange that you run not with them to the same excess of riot, speaking uh -huh. evil of you. Uh -huh. Who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? Right, so you switch your life around, you start running with the madness, and now everybody speak evil of you. But it's you that gave account that gotta give account to Christ. You. Read that Isaiah 9 16. Isaiah 9 and 16. For the leaders of this people cause them to earth. The leaders of this people, our religious leaders, our political leaders, they cause it to earth. Read it. And they that are led of them are destroyed. And they that are led of them are destroyed. So you don't want to get caught up in these religious leaders. Check the book out for yourself. Check it out. First Peter 4 verse 5. Uh -huh. Who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? Because the spiritual leader, they ain't going to have to give an account for you. They're going to have to give an account for themselves and the lies that they've been telling the earth. But you got to give an account to him that's going to judge the quick and the dead. You. You. So you need to examine yourself whether you be in the faith or not. No, you're not your own self. You better check it out. Come on. First Peter 4 verse 6. Uh -huh. For for this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead. Uh -huh. That they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to the most high in the spirit. Praise the Lord. So yeah, we'll be judged according to men in the flesh, which is no problem. No problem. We'll be judged according to men in the flesh, but we'll live according to the most high in the spirit. Why? Because that great and dreadful day, we're looking for the past, man. We're looking for the past, man. We don't want to get caught up with anybody else on the wicked side. We're looking for a past, so we deny it all today. I count all things lost for the excellency of Christ, man. I count all things lost. It don't matter if the women don't find me a pillar no more. It don't matter if, 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 if I can't get that job no more. It don't matter. I count all things lost for Christ, man. It don't matter. Because in, 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 in truth, the most precious thing that's about to be in the earth, the most precious thing that's about to be in the earth is a man that fears the Lord. That's going to be the pre most precious thing in the earth. Not, 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 not the man with all the money, not the man with the cars, not the man with the big house, big bank account. It's the man that fears the Lord. That's going to be the most precious thing in the earth. Not the rock, not Jay-Z, not Cayenne West. The man that fears the Lord. First Peter 4 and 7. But the end of all things is at hand. Now this is the point you really need to pay attention to. Because the thing, the end of all things is at hand. The end of all things is at hand. Everything going down. Pay attention. These little young girls, they're going to burn too. They have no respect. These little young boys, they're going to burn too. Give me that exact second. Give me that Right? You know, little young girls screaming, shut up. You need to get control of